Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Thursday. We're going to be playing a new game tonight. We've got a good friend who was actually producer on this game. His studio, Timberline Studio, was the studio that uh, put it together and produced it and developed it. And we're going to give it a try and see kind of how it is. I haven't played it at all. I literally just downloaded it this morning, finished a, a day of work, and now we're going to jump in and see how it is. So, without further ado, let's get started. And we have a controller technical difficulty, of course. Give me two seconds.
That's annoying. Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So, choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this... this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. That's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home, We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Mouse sounds nice, right? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. 
We'll live a life that's not wasteful. We'll be in control of everything, and only take what we need when we need it. We'll keep your belly from grumbling, and you can help carry us all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like Wilderness Me. She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it, your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. I think it's just as important to know when to get yourself out of there, as it is to know you can handle a challenge. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, say hi. <laughs> you're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary out there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. We'll see what we can truly handle, and what else we might be afraid of. I'm sure it'll put things in perspective. Well, nothing's as scary as manholes. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. <sighs> this is going so well. Well, we've adopted every pup we've met so far. And we have five more stops to find our final team member. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. I know some pups that would love to have you around. So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. You got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. I hear moose are more threatening than bears, is that true? I'm gonna take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? You can just get caught up in your head about what you can and can't do, and this will show us what we're really capable of. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is going to be like, but we're definitely going to have an adventure. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. 
It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Slayer, Stilton, Bodega, and the sled is all ready to go. Well, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. You pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail, but I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't wanna freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on. Now up here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So let's go. Ha! Squirrel up there? Why is it running so? Oh, it's a weasel. Great. A squirrel. Please don't see it, Chomperer. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Oh, no meal is too small out here. Healthy dose of fear. It's a thing we probably all need. Well, that worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. Two bullets left, team. I think we're done here. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. G! Slow down a bit, pups. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's a porcupine. We don't need to mess with those spikes. What do you think that wolf is? Not worth the risk. Hmm. Let's go. Ha! 
We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Okay. We should be able to make this shot. I think. We might just survive out here. It'll make for a good meal. That was a good diversion. We've got some more meat. Yeah, I should feed you pups. Only one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. All right, let's mush on. Let's take a break. Set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears, and we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Food time. Chow down, pups. A fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Ready for pets, Barkley? Maybe a bit of a massage, keep you loose for the trail. Pets, pets, pets. You seem to really be coming into your own. Though it would be nice if you didn't derail our journey by chasing squirrels. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Everyone feeling better? We don't have anything to make a fire. You keeping a lookout for all of us? This is an awesome dog petting simulator. Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these. And a bit of a scratch here. Get back on the trail. Let's get back out there. <clears throat> All right, so this is a pretty chill game. I guess we're using our map. We're trying to get to the red lantern over there on the right hand side. So it looks like we're going to probably want to keep going 
more or less to the right. <gasps> You're a big fella, aren't you? It's okay, pups. I got this. You're making this feel really personal. No. Oh. I can't well, miss from here. I need food, so. Sorry, dude. Thank you for helping us. That was worth it. I'm gonna work a little bit better than squirrels and right. rabbits and porcupines. That was our last bullet. Alright, let's mush on. Onward, doggos, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna keep going to the right. It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? You're keep right. going. It's too far. Let's go. Bridge grouping. I need you to start fires. That was more work than it should have been. I can't wait to get cooking. I'm starving. Let's get back to it. Do pups do okay? We can start a fire at camp now. All right, let's mush on. Take a break, pups. All right, let's do this. The fire will be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. That'll work. I'll feed the doggos a little bit. Food time. Chow down, pups. Wow, they eat a lot of food. Hmm. All right. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? on the trail? I think we're done here. Let's go. Fork in the road. Or two. Mm. Let's go left this time. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees. And snow. Probably some more snow. And then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. We might already be out of food, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And we probably don't need any more bullets. I mean, somebody <laughs> hid bullets out here, right? And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher, like a real one. I think Margot would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. Uh oh. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Hmm. Looks like the nice. Okay. Two. Let's go to the right. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, hey. A uh, little wolf friend. It's okay. You can stay over there. We don't mind. Mush, mush. Barkley! We've got to do something. Just stay back, Barkley. It's okay. We've got this. Good boy, Barkley. We did it. Are you okay, buddy? We got you pretty good. <laughs> Belly rubs first. I'm not hurting you, right, bud? You did good, Barkley. Really good. You should think about trying to scare things away before you have to use your teeth sometimes. You're pretty intimidating. Well, let's get back to the sled, okay? I need to try to heal you up. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Let's get back out there. Hmm, down a dog. All right. I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... Sure, wolves are following us around. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? We'll prove we can handle anything. Look at what we've already done. I'm getting nervous by these <clears throat> frozen river crossings. Mmm. The river wide open. I bet there's a good spot to fish over there. Too bad we did not grab our fishing pole. Either way, might be a good spot for a meal. We might not be able to catch anything, but we can still check it out. I'll be right back, pups. There are probably still fish under here, right? Oh, I don't have a pole. Okay. Uh, maybe that beaver is still around. But I don't have any bullets. Now, where'd you go? Ugh, oh, you almost hit me! <laughs> oh, there you are. I don't think I want to kill a beaver with my bare hands. I shouldn't have wasted my time out here. I need to find some bullets. I hear hmm. you, Chomper. I'm coming. Hey, pups. Let's get back out there. Yeah, Tian, that's a pretty good point. I did kill an, uh, a deer or an elk, so I did get some food, but, uh... You okay, pups? I pushed you too hard, haven't I? It's okay. We're done. You've done all you can. A nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Mm. I think it could be that hard. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? It's okay. They were just nightmares. It's not gonna happen to us. Okay. All right. <laughs> Still think I need more than four bullets. So what do you say? Let's get out there. Onward. Uh, mush on. I like how this is on a diner menu. <laughs> Fork in the road. Or two. G. Is 
a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or uh, wait. Sounds pretty good to me. What do you pups think? Mush on! Oh, now what? Bye-bye, Etienne. Let's go. Ha. Aww. What's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? I don't know. What is it? I don't see anything. Leave it. Mush on. See a chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Hey, we've got priorities. Let's go. Poor chomper, no fun. No. What? Hmm. Ha! Let's go left. Supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Go do your thing, bun. Let's take a break. This looks pretty good. <clears throat> good time. Chow down, pups. to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right. Everyone feeling better? Back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Looks like we found some birch trees. I need you to start fires. That was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. Okay, I'm back. We can start a fire at camp now. I think we're done here. Let's go. Look like birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. We don't have time for wood. We'll be okay. I hope. Slow down a bit, pups. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's a porcupine. 
Let's go. Big and close. Perfect target. Grab us a porcupine. I didn't really think about how I was going to safely clean you. I should have packed other mittens. Hey, look what I found. We've got some more meat. You pups look hungry. Three bullets left. Let's get back out there. <clears throat> Should we camp? This is a good spot to rest. Maybe we should eat. Fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Hmm. Let's go. Hmm, where are we? We're there. We'll go to the right. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive, and we're getting closer to our new home, but we're making our way. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. <clears throat> yeah, this is a really difficult resource management game. It's hard to, uh... It's hard to plan when the dogs take so much food. You up, Barkley. I'm not hurting you, right, bud? You did good, Barkley. Really good. Well, let's get back to the sled, okay? I need to try to heal you up. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Some more food. You pups look hungry. All right, we've got two. All right, let's mush on. Let's go. Ha! I thought things were going to plan. I really did. Wolves are following us around. We'll prove we can handle anything. Let's rest. This looks pretty good. Hmm. I shouldn't have brought you out here, buddy. I didn't think it was going to be this wild. You just have to keep going. No matter. Might be time to get some rest, huh? Should we go to sleep? All right. Everyone feeling better? Fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. Good time. Chow down, pups. Let's 
so you've got three. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Back on the trail? Ready to go? So I don't actually think that it's possible to win this in one go. I think you have to fail over and over again. It's kind of interesting. What's out there? You see something, Sultan? You think it's worth checking out? Hmm. can trick you, okay? Now what should we do? Thanks for helping us find what is hopefully our dinner, Stilton. This is not going to be enough for 20 dogs. Good catch, Stilton. It looks nice. like we both might get to eat. Thanks for looking out for us. Let's go check on the others. I wonder if I could do this with just one dog. Everyone back in position? Kind of another meal ready to go. Forces you or implies that you need to pick all of them. At least we've already got some food. All five of them, but uh Maybe you can get by with just a couple. Cause obviously they can pull the sled with hmm. Let's go. Uh, where are we? Um keep going right. I mean, obviously they can pull the sled with four of them instead of five. Oh God, that could have smashed the river wide open. I bet there's a good spot to fish over there. Too bad we did not grab our fishing pole. Either way, might be a good spot for a meal. Hmm. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll find a fishing pole we can borrow for a bit. Be nice to worry a little less about bullets. Yeah, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice to fashion a fishing pole out of a tree branch, perhaps? Yeah, see, we've got one meat, and I've got to feed. Like, that's going to take the dogs up one notch. Bullets. Two bullets. You know what? Better than nothing. Absolutely. Do pups do okay? Three bullets left. Let's be safe out there. Hmm. See, now I'm almost out of... My hunger is up. Closer. Ha! Let's go ha. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. <laughs> oh, nightmare. I need to remember to eat when I have the chance. I didn't think ahead, but I suppose I did think ahead. Easy. The game didn't give me enough options. So, hmm. So what do you say? Still only starting with three food, which doesn't make sense with five dogs. Where did she say this cabin is again? Can't believe we're finally here. Uh, mush on! Hmm. Let's go. Jay! Looks like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. 
Alright, let's hunt the deer. That'll give us enough meat. Stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. Oh god, I only injured it. Um one more should do the trick, as long as I don't miss. Don't miss again. Missing isn't an option. You can't leave it injured. Okay, I'm back. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. I think we're done here. What's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? Oh, hello. Okay, on my call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold, hold. Okay, go! Sheesh, y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. <laughs> I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. Look very full. <clears throat> okay, that's convenient. Everyone back in position? I think we're done here. Fork in the road. Or two. Uh, let's <gasps> go haw. So we're going G haw. Maybe we'll go haw again. It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? Just have to, you know, just wind, distance, add a physics parking thing. What was that? A parabola? Is that right? Come on, <laughs> back to present. Okay, it's just a little further away. Time to take our chance. Just great. I was in the circle, yeah, so yeah, now yeah. I don't know how the shooting mechanics work, which is annoying. I can't feel sorry for myself. I did. Okay, I'm back. This is our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. Let's go, Chopper. supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Go do your thing, bun. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, now what? Let's go G. G. I am a little tired. Those look like a birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. Got one birch. <clears throat> Are you both birch? I did not learn the proper mnemonic devices for tree recognition. Well, Margot told me to rip off the bark from birch, and only one of these looks to have rippable bark, and the others are supposed to be aspen, I think. I don't burn as well, but they look a lot like birch from afar. I'll consider myself lucky we have both here. Dear God. Oh, you're supposed to be like paper. Come here. Okay, so that works up an appetite. But hey, we're not gonna free. Mm-hmm. We're gonna camp. I'll eat. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> we can start a fire. Let's go, Chopper. Let's rest. This looks pretty good. The fire would be nice. 
At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. All right. Ooh, we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. So I'll do two for me, one for the dogs. Food time. Chow down, pups. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right. Everyone feeling better? I don't have, I don't like how you automatically lose a hunger. Get back on the trail. I think we're done here. Let's go. When you sleep. And then another one when we just passed that checkpoint. <clears throat> How close do you think that wolf is? Right? It's hiding. Or maybe it's stalking us. Thanks for waiting, pups. Let's get back out there. Where are we? Down there. Ha! Oh, great. A squirrel. Please don't see a chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Hey, we've got priorities. Let's go. No, we're not, because the dogs are about to run out of energy. And I got no food. To our new home, but we're making our way. We might already be out of food, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Not that wolf that was howling at us before. It's okay. You can stay over there. We don't mind. Mush, mush. Barkley! We've got to do something. Just stay back, Barkley. It's okay. We've got this. Steady, steady. You have to help Barkley. Oh, I see. So I can wait. Wonder if there's a timeout on this. Because that's not a good one. Yeah, you did real good, buddy. I need to patch you up, Barkley. I wolf shouldn't have messed with us, right? Let's get back to the other. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Some more food. You pups look hungry. Okay, so we're out of bullets. I think we're done here. Let's go. <clears throat> Should we camp? This looks pretty good. If 
fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. <coughs> Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time! Chow down, pups! Yeah, see, you're really not feeding them very much when you feed them. Hey, buddy. <coughs> Let me take care of you, Barkley. Ready for pets, Barkley? I shouldn't have brought you out here, buddy. I think we just have to keep going. Might be time to get somewhere else, shall we? Go. No, because <laughs> he can't win the game. Back on the trail? Ready to go? And there's a checkpoint, so we're going to lose uh, another hunger thing for the dogs. Fork in the road, or two. Mm. Gee! I thought things were going to plan. I really did. Wolves are following us around. Oh, God, that could have said that there's a good spot to fish over either way. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll find a fishing pole. We can be nice to work. <clears throat> now what? Ha! Did Bob see that? Two bullets, you know what? Thanks for waiting, pups. Two bullets left. All right. <clears throat> Let's take a break. Hopefully someone will find us soon. We're okay. Couldn't find I'll make sure to feed you. It's okay. They were or maybe this is the tutorial. Supposed to be. Can't believe we're finally here. Uh, mush on. in the road or two. Hmm. Gee. Gee Willikers. Huh. 
you. Look at that. Where'd your buddy go? I guess their distraction didn't work. You're far too food territorial to allow a weasel to steal something from you. Yeah. Go ahead and chow down on that piece of meat. I'll pack up the weasel. Good job, Bodega. I appreciate you looking out for us. That was worth it. Some more food. I think we're done here. Skunk. Uh, skunk. Oh, I feel like the smell is sticking to me. Stilton, why did we follow it? Oh, you were hungry. Are you feeling better? Well, that skunk isn't. <laughs> Everyone back in position? Man, go, I will feed the dogs all day with free food. Let's go. G. Oh, great. A squirrel. Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. He's just living his life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. Chomper, you, on the other hand, seem very perturbed. Sister Nemesis. Wait, did it just wink? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. What? Chomper? You downed it in one go? <laughs> okay, fine. I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full belly back on the trail. Come on. Good boy. Chomper, do you mind not releasing everyone all the time? Let's get back out. Alright, so we're gonna go by this little checkpoint here. How close do you think that wolf is? I'm gonna that ignore the is. wolf. It doesn't matter what we do, he's still gonna find us. Let's go haw. Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Get to rough. <laughs> you really have some wolf like instincts, pal. You just needed to go after some creatures with fewer tall escape routes. Well, I'm glad your belly's full. Let's get back out there. Hmm. Chomper, do you mind not releasing everyone all the time? Let's go, Chomper. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. All right, we'll camp so I can feed myself since the doggos are looking good. Should we camp? Yeah, we'll just do it right here. This looks pretty good. So I've got two birch, so fire I'll do the fire. Nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. <sighs> I'm not ready for the long sleep. I need to eat. Right. I need to eat so that the game can artificially take mm, away one hunger when I'm done eating. Cook some food. It's done sleeping. that food time I'll feed Down the doggos one might be time to get some rest well should we go to sleep hmm 
Hmm. Yeah, so the game's kind of fun. Not super enjoying some of the artificial limitations that they're putting in here. Alright, everyone feeling better? But figuring out that you can have your dogs hunt to feed themselves is nice. Of course, being able to pet the doggos is awesome. You seem to really be coming into your own. Though and the doggo nice animations and their personalities are fantastic. Let's see, what else could I do? Here, nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and back hop on back trail? on. Let's be safe out there. And let's continue down the road. So, by sleeping, I lost a food slot, and then by going by one of those checkpoints, I lose a food slot, or the dogs do. Which I think is super annoying. It's like they penalize you for playing the game. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. I need meat. Just stay there. And then the tutorial is not very... Clear on how you hunt things. Appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. So four meat on that, which will be good for me. Hey, look what I found. Another meal ready to go. Three bullets left. All right, let's mush on. And essentially, what we're trying to do at this point is get to that cabin over there on the right. So we're just—it's almost like Groundhog Day. You. You get in the sled, you go until you run out of food or your dogs get too tired. Let's see, from here I'll go haw again. Every so often there are branch points where you get to pick whether you want to go left or right. Uh, what's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? Ptarmigans, so we'll do those. Because the dogs will eat those. Oh, hello. Okay, on my call... You're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold, hold. Okay, go. Sheesh. Woof. Oh, great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh. I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. They all look very full. All right. So now, ready? as we go, since I made that stop, Let's go, I lost a hunger, but I've got four. Yeah, I've got four meat, four food. So that's good. Three bullets of birch and a health pack. They're gonna lose another doggo uh, hunger by passing that checkpoint. Looks like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. I will hunt that to grab some more meat. So now with hunting, you don't get to control where the gun aims. What you're doing is you're basically trying to put this little bouncing ball into the um, moving circle. Hey, perfect shot. And what's good? Because I'm getting lightheaded. No one has to starve tonight. What's not super clear? Why did I want this to be my reality? Is how that works. Um, how that mechanic works. So it took me a couple of tries before I figured that out. I think that's the point of the game, though. You're just trying to okay. essentially Groundhog Day and learn as you right. go along. And then the more you learn, the farther you can get each time. Now what? Where am I? Here. Let's go to the right. Gee! You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive, and we're getting closer to our new home. Bodega, there is not a meal you won't protect, but we're making our way. It seems like there's always a wolf encounter, so regardless of whether you choose different paths or not, it seems like there's always a wolf that you have to fight. Is that birch over there? You gotta find birch and go after it. No, just, just smoke. Oh, there's the wolf. Here's the All wolf right. encounter. Friend. You can't fight the wolf in advance. Okay. You can't fire at it to Never make mind. it go away. He's always going to attack your dog. Mush, mush. Barkley! Just stay back. But I get some more food out of it, so I'm cool with that, I guess. Steady. You have to help Barkley. 
Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo, boop boop. You'll notice how it just kind of barely grazed that circle. I'm not sure if there's a timeout for that. Yeah, you did real good, buddy. <clears throat> I need to patch you up, Barkley. We'll do the belly rubs first. I'm not hurting you, right, bud? You did good, Barkley. Really good. But let's get back to the sled, okay? I need to try to heal you up. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Some more food. I wouldn't mind a snack. Only one bullet left. At least we've all... Let's get back out there. So Let's look for a good spot to camp. Go Let's ahead and camp now. Actually, I'll wait one. I'll go to the next one and camp. Work in the road. Where to? Where are we? We're here. Let's go. Ha. I thought things were going to plan. I'll really head camp. We'll prove we can handle anything. Should we camp? Yeah. Take a break, pups. Hey, buddy. How you holding up? Let me take care of you both. Okay, fire pit, start fire. And I'll eat. I'm ready to cook some food. So three for me works well. Food time. Chow down, pups. And I'll probably take what? A ton for the dogs. Which is annoying. I'll do that, because I think they'll find some food elsewhere. Get some help. Should we go to sleep? All right. Everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. I'll make the decision. You just wait for what I decide. You're not gonna wait, are you? <laughs> Come on, squirrel. You can't win this. Just get out of here. Hey, we don't mean you any harm. Okay, just leave it. Wait. No, chomper. Ah! Yeah, eat it. Oh, Barkley! You know, you don't have to protect me from everything. I could probably I can't have you in danger. And yeah, I know that was just a remember the wolf? You're quick to jump into it. You've got a bark that just might be meaner than your bite. Alright, we gotta get this in from up. Good boy. Now, speak. <laughs> okay, how about um Yes! Okay, let's try it again. Speak! <laughs> you got this. I know you don't like to use it, but trust me. Hey, where'd that squirrel go? You ate it, didn't you, Chomp? All right, you heathen. <laughs> Let's get back to the trail, pup. All right, so since Chomp ate it, that Everyone gave them some food, which is good. Ready to go? So we can continue. Now what? Where are we? We're here. Ha! What do you smell? It's 
Continue on, pups. <clears throat> Keep going on this one. the beaver we're making progress and now we will go ha again there's so many tree stumps over there I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, <laughs> there's an axe here. I am just going to uh, take this. This is right before this turns into a horror game. Oh, cool. Place where people just like disappear. And well, should I try this out? Seems. Doggo, stop. It's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. So now I wonder if I keep the axe for the rest of the game. You pups do okay. This birch will really help. All right, let's mush on. I got four food. I'm doing okay. Doggos are starting to get a little low. Slow down a bit, pups. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's a porcupine. We don't need to mess with those spikes. Yeah, we'll avoid the porcupine. And now I am retired. Looks like we're getting there. Um, I'll go haw again. Let's go find Mama Bear. I'm not sure this was the best idea. Are you all alone? You think maybe it's looking around for its... Oh, no, it was on its own. It was just wandering off. Oh, man. Wanted to hunt Mama Bear. And then the little doggo is going to have the cub ruthless, but it's nature. I knew it. Oh, it was just a dream. Well, a nightmare, but that's how you prepare. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but well, now we'll see if we get to keep the axe. Challenges. You know, like you've all been waiting to get back out there and run, and okay, I just have to be. So now I've got five bullets, and am I taking an axe? It does look like I'm gonna get to keep the axe. Hello! And someone joined Discord. 
And that little nightmare room to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. Good thing we have an overactive and we know what we're up against. Hot huh, chops. So let's go. Let's get out there and live wildly. Live the life that... Right, uh, the cabin's supposed to... Yep. We've got an axe. Let's go find our... Uh, mush on! <clears throat> now what? Start with a G. Hey, can you hear me? I can now. How's it going? Good. Just saw you, uh, decided to, uh, follow a bear cub to its mother. I did. How's it going, Nathan? <laughs> uh, it, it's good. It's been a, it's been a day. Shipping, shipping a game is rough on a good day. Absolutely. Uh, so far, things coming in pretty positive. All right, leave it, Chomper. All right, let's go. Oh man. Okay. Okay. I need back. to mute the uh, YouTube video because I'm hearing myself. We're done here. It's getting confusing. Let's go. Yeah, I need to work there. on work on the mixer. Work on mixing that down so you so that if people are on here, their audio will go to the. Oh, even then, you'll still hear yourself. So never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a solution to that. Maybe uh, maybe if you pipe audio Slow down back cups. through Discord, um, but then the audio will be out of sync with the video. We don't need to mess. Yeah, but you're still gonna know. you're still gonna hear yourself if I play it out to uh, the right. stream. Work on the road. Or two. So is this... I'm gathering from this that you're essentially playing Groundhog Day. You just want to continue to get better and better until you finally get to the end? Yeah, it's like, um... What's going on up there? It's like she's on the drive up to Alaska and uh, she's, she's thinking about all the ways things can go wrong and kind of catastrophizing... Um, okay, and uh, maybe nodding off at the wheel, so which can happen when you're out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, okay, that's kind of that's that's Sheesh. basically what's okay, going on when a uh, when a van restart no. happens. I don't need eggs. I right. Don't um, is is her just kind of imagining how bad things can get, and then and then kind of responding to that by thanks for um, coming out there with me. Deciding to bring more bullets or more food or right. whatever. So. Let's on. Um, and it is a, a rogue light game, so you basically get to keep, you know, the things that that you've uh, discovered out on the trail, which end up being things that you remember to bring with you until, you know, eventually you get it right. Right, like I just yeah. got the axe. Oh, yep. Yeah. That. So now you get to it's keep okay. that forever, and that'll that'll make uh, certain things way easier for you. There's a, there's a few. Just... Uh, persistent items out there that each one you get like dramatically enhances uh either what you can do or how much energy it takes to do something or etc right well so far i'm having fun it's a little bit uh uh interesting getting used to because i don't play very many roguelike or roguelite games or anything like that so um still kind of picking up the mechanics and getting used to them and everything yeah, Thank you, but enjoy you know, it. Um, you. Do you know what to do with the uh, the hunting uh, mini game? You can actually slow down one of the uh, hey, the moving things. Um, oh, that PC, I believe it's the E key. Okay, so the first time that I I confused myself the first time I hunted because what I did was I hit E, nothing right. happened, and I just fired immediately because I was like, okay, that doesn't do anything. I didn't even notice the dot and the like the wider sphere and the and the little moving dot. Oh, interesting. So I just totally assumed that they didn't, like, eh, that doesn't work, and then I just forgot about it until you just mentioned. Let's go. By the way, you can slow it down. And I was like, oh, that makes more sense now. Yeah, I've noticed um, a lot of people streaming the game today don't don't seem to catch that, so we'll need to make it a little bit bigger of a tutorial, perhaps. Or, can uh, you actually find food like that? I don't know. 
um, but you're not the only one. Uh, but it does make, it will make hunting significantly less uh, time consuming now that you know that you can do that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. It's still tricky though. You can kind of, you can slow it down too early or too late and kind of miss it. Yeah. But it's meant to slow you down anyway. We wanted to make it so it's not like this, you know, point and click, twitchy, shoot everything that moves kind of game. So. Um, Absolutely. And it's fun. I mean, even not knowing, like, once I realized that that's what I was supposed to be doing. Um, I like once I once I realized that there was the, the aiming mechanism there, the mini game, I was like, oh, OK. And then that just made it that much easier. Um, so the whole game just seems like it's a constant learning process, which is kind of interesting. Obviously, since I don't play very many of these games, it is slightly frustrating to me, but um, Let's be safe out there. not in a bad way, if that makes sense. I mean, it's just something new for me. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah it's nice. like, you know, you're, you're learning as you play. This looks so pretty good. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be frustrating at first, and then you'll get used to it. Fire would be nice. Uh, okay. Just no more work to do. So that's cool. I'm Spark, glad. I'm glad, despite not behold. being, you know, like a a, a fan of uh, roguelites or, or maybe narrative games or whatever, you're still having fun with it. I wouldn't say I'm not a fan. I just haven't played them because I don't really. It's not. It's not a genre that I generally pay attention to. Good time. Chow down, pups. If that makes sense. It's not. It's not that yeah. I actively dislike it. Oh sure. Yeah. Now, can you start the game? Can you start your run with um, less than the full five dogs, or do you have to pick five? Uh, there's always a, a team of five dogs. Okay. At the beginning. Um, if you remember which dogs you picked for your first run, you can go make another save game and, and pick like the opposite team. Right. Well, I just picked the first five because I was like, oh, they're all so cute. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's random every time. Oh. Uh, oh. oh okay. In what order you get them in, too, So. That's good to know then too. Uh, All right. It's like you got Barkley and Stilton and Slayer. Yep. And, yep. Uh, who else? Oh, Bodega. Hungry boy. Yeah. And that I'm, I'm assuming affects how much food I need to keep them all full. Um. It I seems like it I need actually a... doesn't. Okay. Um, it it did at, it did at some point. I think we actually like tuned and balanced that out of the equation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. There was a there was a time when all the all the uh, stat tracking and meters were a lot more complicated. There were a lot more variables you kind of needed to uh, keep track of, and we. We sort of simplified it down because we realized that that, that, that version of the game wasn't as fun. There's a there's a weird balance. Like I know that that, that would actually make it more fun for, for uh, some people who like really like you know all the different. Uh, I see what that does. Like dials and keeping track of things. But, um, yeah, absolutely. There are other games out there that kind of scratch that itch too. Though, so. <laughs> no, absolutely, and I like I like how Thanks for waiting, pups. easy it is to get into it really quickly. Three bullets left. Cool. Yeah. I think we're done here. Doesn't feel like I mean you are making a, a investment in learning the mechanics, but it's not like a oh I just feel like I wasted you know three hours of my life trying to learn this game and now I have to start over again, right? It's it's a real Hit quick um, right. yeah. turnaround. Let's see, I'll do... Well, that's kind of the appeal of, of roguelikes in particular, where it's like the the time you spend into it, even though you keep failing over and over, you're getting, you're personally getting better at it. Like, uh, Spelunky is kind of the classic example of this now, uh, where, you know, Spelunky at first is really, really brutal because you just don't know how things work. You don't... Pull the trigger. You don't know what to do in different situations. Um, and so really, the time you're investing into the game, you're kind of teaching yourself how to play the game and how to master it. Um, and so there's an element of that to this game, too. It's much more 
simplified than uh, Spelunky, for sure. And in this, in a rogue light. So I guess the, the difference between a rogue like with a K and a rogue light with a T is uh, in a rogue light you you generally get to keep the things that you've found in the previous run, okay. even though you died. Um, and then in a rogue like you lose everything every time you fail. Okay, so you're always starting from scratch. Yeah. I'm not sure if the if the slowing down actually helps me or not. Yeah, it kind of, it changes it now. Now you have to, like, anticipate where it's going to be as it slows down. Yeah, is there a timeout on this? Uh, no, there isn't, and, and it is it is a bit more forgiving than oh, it apparently it's is. Still fine. So, okay. um, like, like, I don't know how out of sync we are, but just then you probably could have landed a hit when it, like, just hit, like, the rim of the circle. Well, I've done a couple where I've actually been in the circle and shot and totally missed. I'm not sure if that's just a random chance or, or what. Uh, there is there is a, a bit of randomness to the gun itself. Okay. Um, so you can you can get a perfect shot and still have like a weird bullet or like in this case it doesn't kill the animal on the first shot. Right. Okay. The gun's a little funky. Let's get back when do we get the uh, A10? <laughs> uh, okay, there's, there's caribou. One out there somewhere. Gotta be. Um, it would definitely Alaska's make. A big place. Yeah, for sure. A10 out there somewhere. <laughs> oh man, you gotta pick up all the parts to repair it. Sorry, I don't know if the microphone keeps it's okay. picking up all these clicking sounds. The the power in LA is really bad, and so all of my uh, my battery backups are tripping. <laughs> kind of relentlessly. I'm absolutely not hearing any clicking from you, so. I can't miss from okay, here. Okay, cool. Thank you for helping us. Yeah, the resource management is probably the most difficult of part of the game for me. Some more food. So, mm -hmm. let's get back out there. I did make the uh, discovery or the aha that uh, allowing the doggos to go and hunt uh, is kind of a free way to feed them. Yes. Yeah, that's um, that's that's a good discovery to make. Uh, sometimes Chomper will discover that for you. <laughs> but yeah, it's generally a good idea if you can let the dogs run out and, and grab a bite. Uh, you, you generally have have a much better shot at gaining resources from that than attempting to hunt something, especially if it's a small thing. Right. Uh, smaller things are are uh, generally harder to hit, too. And they don't like you'll get one meat out of a small animal, and then yep. you basically have to choose: are you going to give it to the dogs, or are you going to give it to yourself? Oh, the wolf. And then the um. Letting them hunt will sometimes bump them up by two instead of one. So you're almost getting, I don't know if that's a bug or not, but um, you're almost getting uh, a little bit of a bonus for letting them do that. Barkley! Yeah. We've got to do something. Just save them. Yeah, maybe maybe they eat the entire animal, whereas if you harvest meat from it, you're, you're just grabbing the meat. <laughs> Right. Oh, that pesky wolf. <laughs> I This guy, every time, every time. Good boy, Barkley. We did it. Are you okay, buddy? We got you pretty good. Always got to give him belly rubs first. Belly rubs first? Yes. Oh, yeah. What kind of monster would not give him belly rubs? I have no idea. <laughs> right, bud? You did good, Barkley. Really good. You should think about trying to... Well, let's get back to the sled, okay? I, need to try I like to that Barkley well. considers it. Okay. Get ready to go. I actually did the uh, the animation of the the wolf uh, running up and, and grabbing you. Um, I don't know if you've seen that one. Let's I guess go. you probably haven't. If Barkley's on the team, um, basically Barkley will will always protect you um, if he huh. can. So. Uh, if you don't have Barkley on the team, uh, spoilers, uh, something else happens with the wolf. Sure, sure. We can handle anything. I figure it's going to be similar to the bear encounter. Yep. 
Yeah, you you basically it's the same deal. The wolf runs at you, but now there isn't a Barkley to jump in the way. <laughs> so instead of instead of uh, healing Barkley, you're healing yourself oh, at the next the camp. Wide open. I bet there's a good yeah, of fish yeah, that's that's the. Uh, Either way, might be a good That's kind of the me. trade. So like you're you're always gonna lose a. Uh, Got it. For a bit. Be nice to worry a little less about. There's a few things like that in the game where, where, you know, to uh, kind of push things along. Uh, the same like resource result will happen from different different events. Um, there's actually okay. there's there's more things that can happen than just the wolf. Uh, too, so it's, so it's kind, kind of strange that you're only seeing the wolf. Um, What's that out there? That might be a bug. <laughs> yeah, I have only seen the wolf. Oh, I don't have any bullets. I don't know what to do. I have the axe. So I've sped up the food chain, I suppose. It was bound to happen. Okay, Man. Come back. Let's get back out there. I wanted to become an axe murderer of caribou. <laughs> Let's rest. This looks pretty good. Gotta patch up my pup. Let me take care of you, Barkley. Fire would be nice. Birch bark works now, do you need a good dog, Dad? Yeah, I try to be. Do you need to actively look for things while you're sledding, or do they just happen? Uh, generally, they just happen. Okay. You'll get a you'll get a prompt. Um, Food time. Shout out. Where you make a choice to either engage in something or not, um, or or the dogs will choose to do something for you. Right. Um, right. Right. Occasionally. Yeah. He Chomper has uh, chased a squirrel before, <laughs> but the first couple of times I told him to ignore it. Actually, the first time I hunted it, I got it and got one meat out of it and was like, oh, that sucks. Um, Might be time to get some rest. <laughs> but. Should we go to sleep? Um, after that, like three or four yeah, times, I like squirrel is generally not lucrative. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, oh no. There's a pretty low probability that you hit it too. So. Oh I well. Think it's, I think it's a coin flip. I think it's fifty-fifty. All right. Well, I feel lucky then. Yeah. <laughs> back on the trail. Let's get back out there. Good game, though. I'm I'm thinking about going up to Alaska and uh, getting us some sled dogs. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the that's, that's the point. point. We're just trying to get everybody to go to go up to Alaska, get out of the lower uh, forty-eight, and uh, be good dog dads. <laughs> I like it. Let's check it out. Oh, please be full. Please be full. Two bullets. I mean, for real though, I, I hope nobody, you know, actually plays this game and then goes like, "Hey, I." I know, I can okay. I can do this, I know what to do now. It's like, eh, maybe go play the long dark next to find out how you can do this. <laughs> Wait, this isn't a simulator? What are you talking about? We're making progress. Uh, where are we? We're here, we'll go, ha. Oh. I imagine that there is a preferred path. I'm not gonna ask you what it is, but I'm, uh, no, it actually it has more to do with with what kind of events you want to see. Okay. Um, so, uh, like you, you were just on ice. There there are there are a different set of events that can take place on ice uh, than like in the forests or in the cliffs and stuff like that. So as you play the game, you'll you'll kind of start to into it like what what sort of things you'll see depending on what region you're in, and then okay. you can kind of make. Uh, educated choices about where you want to go. Right, okay. The map isn't super accurate, but generally if you're if you're pointing the sled to a lake, you're going to end up on the ice. Uh, right, and I'm and always, when I see the ice, I'm always like, ah, like I feel not super comfortable sledding over yeah. the ice. <laughs> yeah, ice can be a problem. 
Oh, here goes Chomper. Hey, we don't mean you any harm. Okay, just leave it alone, Chomper. Wait. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, Barkley! Good boy. I love how Chomper sneaks away with the squirrel, by the way. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> that was one of the uh, the last animations that we did. Oh man. Quick to jump into a fight, no matter the odds. But you've got a bark that just might be more than your bite. Getting sneaking in there, stealing the squirrel. He yeah. used to not do it, and we were like, you know, be funny. <laughs> I 100% noticed it, appreciated it, and thought it was hilarious. Good boy. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. How about um. <laughs> Yes, see, you got it. Okay, let's try it again. Speak. Yes, good boy, Barkley. I think you've got this. I know you don't like to use it, but trust me, it'll come in handy. Hey, where'd that squirrel go? You ate it, didn't you, Chomper? All right, you heathen. Let's get back to the trail. Oh, Chomper. You know, y'all don't have to follow me. Let's go, Chomper. Let's see, I need food, hopefully soon. But I got the fire starter, which means that I should keep that forever and not have to worry oh, about nice. birch anymore. No, sir. Yeah. So, I'll go haw again. I'm feeling a little weak, pups. You go on without me. We're okay. I just couldn't find any food. I didn't think I had. It's okay, they were just nightmares. It's not gonna happen to us. And I notice the sticky notes that keep getting added. So as you find things and add them to your list, um, sticky note will pop up. Oh, and I see the, okay, yeah. so the drawings, I, I, I've noticed that the drawings filled in on this page. So like the ax and now I see the fire starter. I didn't notice that the animals were filling in on the previous page. Oh, oh yeah, 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 the, uh, the journal, journal updates, updates as you, see things uh anytime you get a pop-up that does like the kind of like uh paper scratching sound uh there will be something new in the journal to get a look at to bring some very cool can always start a fire it's a good thing we have an overactive imagination we know what we're up against well cool man i need to go do some dinner stuff oscar is reminding me that it's time for her dinner so let's go um, oh, puppy there. dog. Jump out of Discord here. I'll keep watching the stream. Uh, Absolutely. Give Asuka some pets for me. Oh, yes. She will enjoy them. Maybe some and, butt yeah, scratches. Thanks so much for playing the game. Uh, I've been I'm taking notes on like little things that I see and stuff. There there are there are some things that are happening to you that I think are probably bugs, um, just in terms of uh, randomization. Sure. Um, you're you're seeing some things. Uh, I, like I noticed that you you saw the. Uh, the uh, squirrel uh, event where you teach Barkley his voice. I believe um, that one should be de-emphasized once you teach him his voice. Okay. Which you've yeah. already done. Um, so there's some there's some more like balancing and tuning that we need to do to you know kind of knock down some repetitive stuff that's happening. Um, we just rolled out an update on uh, Switch, so now the Switch version of the game is the same as the at the game store version and uh, we have another patch in progress that we're planning to roll out awesome soon. and this is available on switch and pc uh, yeah yep on uh, epic game, game store and nintendo switch our birch hunting days are over. awesome awesome and if uh, people want to go and pick it up they can uh, go to timberline.com or on pc they can go to the epic game store uh it's uh Timberline.studio, so right. HTTP colon slash slash Timberline.studio. And then, uh, yeah, they can just search for the Red Lantern on uh, the Nintendo Switch store or the Epic Game store. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a All right, man, well, you go you go and yeah. have a good uh, have good dinner. Give uh, Ask us some scratchies and pets and yep. snuggles, and um, I'm going to keep enjoying the game. Thank you so much for stopping <laughs> by. Yeah, thanks, thanks for playing. For playing. It's really fun to watch people, uh, you know, play it, respond to it after after having sit in the in development for a long time. You kind of go blind to, you know, some of the surprise and fun. And so, and so watching other people play it for the first time and see them getting surprised by things or laughing or whatever is really cool. So, 
Absolutely. Thanks. Super appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. And I think this is the first time I've played a roguelike or a roguelite. So you're seeing me go through <laughs> all of the emotions of learning a completely new genre as well. Nice. nice. Cool. cool. Awesome. All right, ma'am. Well, well yep. have a great night. night. You too, you dude. Bye-bye. Congrats on the on the release, by the way. You're perfect just as you are. And I want to eat you. Gotcha. No meal is too small or too cute. Hey, look what I found. Some more food with four bullets left. Let's get back out there. So let's go. Uh, I'm wondering if um Oh, here comes Skunky. Is that a <laughs> skunk? <laughs> oh, I feel like the smell is sticking to me. Stilton, why did we follow it? So I can eat it. Oh, you were hungry. You feeling better? Well, that skunk isn't. Well, let's get back out there. Hope the skunk doesn't no, give him gas. Let's be safe out there. Mush. And a rabbit, so I'll let the doggos eat that. That's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Hey, little bunny. Mind being bait. I'm sure something big is tracking you. Oh, Ooh. come on! <laughs> that's what I was asking for. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Let's get back out there. Now what? Um, let's do G. Porcupine. Slow down a bit, pups. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's a porcupine. We don't need to mess with those spikes. Oh, uh, what's going on up there, Stilton? Tarmigans. Food for doggos. Okay, my call. You're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Okay, go! Sheesh. Now we're great at catching these birds. Maybe we should. Huh. I think I like these ptarmigans. One of these days I'll talk to them. Let's get back out. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Let's rest. Another camp. This is a good spot to rest. Got our fire going. The fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. And noms. We should eat. I'm ready to cook. I'll do that. Be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Good time. Chow down, pups. 
give you guys one. Back on the trail? And then on we go. Work on the road. Where to? Um, oh, huh. uh -huh. Caribou. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. Just stay there. Thank you, caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like. Alright, that's good. That a good diversion. Dinner time for me. Three bullets left. <clears throat> Looks like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. All right, more hunting. Stay quiet, just be calm. You've got this. This is a good return on the investment for getting just a little bit hungry. Nope. Oh God, I only injured it. Um, one more should do the trick, as long as I don't miss. We can't miss again. We can't leave it. That's what we needed. I'll collect what I can and get back to the sled. So you basically lose one hunger to get oh, three. Was. Another meal ready to. Only one bullet left. At least we've all. Let's get back up. <clears throat> Closer to our new home, but we're making our way. Oh, hey, a, uh, a little wolf friend. It's okay, you can stay over there. We don't mind. Mush, mush, mush. Barkley! Just stay back, Barkley. Steady, steady. <coughs> yeah, you did real good, buddy. I will take all the meat I can get. Oh, belly rubs. You up, Barkley. I'm not hurting you, right, bud? You did good, Barkley. Really good. Well, let's get back to the sled, okay? I'm... It's okay. Get in the sled. We've got some more meat. We don't need bullets to survive. Let's get back out there. Work on the road, or two. Ha! I thought things were going to end. I really did. Wolves are following us around. We're alive, we're together. That's what I wanted, right? To feel alive? To figure out what I could actually handle? See that? I think it might be time to get us some food.
Good boy. Can you believe this? It's a herd of caribou. A week ago, we had to be impressed by a flock of pigeons. And now look. What do you say, buddy? Time to get back on the trail. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm back. Oh, man, I wish I had my rifle for that. Go. in the road. Where to? Ha! Let's set up camp as soon as we can. What's out there? You see something, Sultan? You think it's worth checking out? Looking out, buddy. No camouflage can trick you. Okay, now what should we do? All right, Stilton. You saw it, you catch it. On my call. Okay. Good catch, Stilton. Well, at least one of us won't go hungry. Thanks for looking out for us. Let's go check on the others. And wipe those feathers from your lips. Chomper might get jealous. You filthy animal. You're all hooked in now, right? Let's go, Chomper. All right, so we'll camp for me. Let's take a break. I'll give Doggo some food as well. This is a good spot to rest. A fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Hey, buddy. Let me take care of you, Barkley. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Time. Chow down, pups. Get back on the trail. All right, let's mush on. Hey, guinea pig. Yeah, thanks, man. It is actually pretty fun. One of my good friends uh, at Timberline Studio was the uh, technical development lead on this game. He co-founded the studio as well, so... Whoa. Let's uh, not worry about the beaver. But yeah, Thanks, this sir. is a... Uh, this is a pretty chill game. Every time you go through, you learn something new. You you pick up a new skill or whatever, and you get to keep kind of kind of learning and and getting better and getting a little bit further along each time. I don't see anything. Let's go follow the scent. I see what you were after. I can't oh, nice. believe someone just left this animal like this. Traps can be a cruel necessity out here, but you can't just leave the creature forever. If we use a trap, we'll check it often. If something's caught, we have to finish it quickly. I don't love the idea of using one, but we do need a steady way to get food. We can set it up before we go to sleep. In the morning, we'll see if we've caught anything. We might be able to save some bullets and still feed all of us. Even if I take it, doesn't mean I have to use it, but I should try to plan for the worst, right? Just in case. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's mush on. It's okay. Even if we never use the trap, we took it from the wild. And if we decide to use it, and we might need to, we just have to be mindful about it. 
We'll set it before we go to bed, then check it first thing when we wake up. Then we'll thank each creature for the help they're giving us. This is for food and for life. All right, let's keep going. Ha! about it chomper i'll make the decision you just wait for what i decide you're not gonna wait are you oh, come on squirrel you can't win this just get out of here hey we don't mean you any harm okay just leave it alone chomper wait ah! whoa barkley you know you don't have to protect me from everything I could probably handle a squirrel bite. I can't have you endangering yourself to save me. And yeah, I know that was just a squirrel, but they're not always going to be squirrels. Remember the wolf? He almost got you, buddy. You're quick to jump into a fight no matter the odds, but you've got a bark that just might be meaner than your bite. You might try using that first someday. All right, you gotta stand up. We gotta get this in from our gut. Up. Good boy. Now, speak. Okay, how about, um... <laughs> yes, yeah, see, you got it! Okay, let's try it again. Speak! <laughs> yes, good boy, Barkley! I think you've got this. I know you don't like to use it, but trust me, it'll come in handy. Hey, where'd that squirrel go? You ate it, didn't you, Chomper? All right, you heathen. Let's get back. You're all hooked in now, right? All right. Let's mush on. What do you smell? Okay, so we've got someone's meal. Let's just wait. We'll just uh, give the other animal a chance to collect its meal. Oh, okay then. Pups do okay? Let's get back out there. All right, let's keep going. I can't believe the ice can just control a river of this size. How much food is just traveling beneath us? It looks like there's an opening up ahead. There's nothing for us here except for the chance of an icy end. Let's go. Let's rest. Take a break, pups. Would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Mm, maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Might be time to get some help. Should we go? We'll probably only catch small game, though. Worth setting the trap, Stilton? Should I set the trap? Stilton, where should I set the trap tonight? We'll check on it when we wake up. Might be time to get some help. Should we go to sleep?
right, everyone. Let's see what we've caught. The fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to... Food time! Chow down, pups. Get back on the trail? All right, let's mush on. So I'm basically playing this as if I'm feeding myself. I'll let the pups hunt for their own food. I need to find some bullets or something. It's like a glove. Uh oh. I don't want to find out who this belonged to, but we'll take what we can find. I see bullet. The bullet will do just fine. I'm back. back. Only one bullet left. We've got to find some. Ready to go? We're making progress. Do you think that wolf is? Not worth the risk. Find some good food here with the caribou. With the moose. Oh no. Did it! Oh, more yeah, belly rubs. You found your voice, buddy. He didn't even want to mess with you. Oh, thanks. That was almost the end for us. It would have been without you. You think we can find home now? Okay, buddy. Inside voice for a bit. But yeah, let's let's get home. Thanks for waiting, pups. Let's go, Let's chopper. Go, chopper. I'm sitting here going, why are we running yeah. through the caribou? Hmm. No, oh, that's not a caribou. It's a, ma a moose. <clears throat> you know, a moose. The best racer, but she did it because it's what she loved. And it was who she was. Moose once bit my sister. She came in last. And she knew she was never gonna win. Or was she gonna keep her pinky finger? But she kept going. And her dogs kept going because they wanted to. And she didn't know what was gonna come next. But she knew if she was supposed to make it, she would. So she just had to let the pups put one paw in front of the other and trust them to get her to the end. Alright, so I need to get some food. Progress. My doggos, at least. Oh God. Okay, bear, just move along. They'd like to come through here. Whoa, pups, just stay right there. Let's give them some space. Run, pups! No, leave it! No! 
Not for chopping! Oh, puppy! Medical packs. I'm trained for this. Chomper! Oh, Chomps! I was... No more protecting, okay? Only squirrel chasing. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the slide until we can get you high. It's time to go. <coughs> I know it hurts. We're trying to find another med pack. Let's go, Chomper. Chomper can't go. He's on the sled. Give me some doggo food, come on. What is this? Rest right next to the bison. Perfect. This is a good spot to rest. All right, I have zero food. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? We'll probably only catch small game though, but not here anything helps. What do you think, Stilton? Will we catch something? Should I set the trap? Stilton, where should I set the trap tonight? We'll check on it when we wake up. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Let's see what we've caught. Good choice, Stilton. There are a couple of weasels over there. All right. How much food did that give us? Two. Food time! Chow down, pups. Hey, buddy. How are you holding up? Just do the best you can. Back on the trail? Yeah, we're almost there. I think we're done here. Let's go. Let's see if we can find something for the dogs to munch on on the way. And something that I can take down with a bullet for myself. Good work. Let's go G. Make a camp at the next safe spot. Let's rest. Take a break, pups. All right, so we're almost there. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? We'll probably only catch small game, though, but not here anything helps. Any good spots to put the trap, Stilton? Should I set the trap? What do you see out there? We'll check out it when we wake up. Might be time to get I'm some hoping rest. at the cabin there will be some more med sleep? packs, but I guess we'll see. All right, All right. What do we got in the Everyone trap? Let's see what we've caught. Might be 
time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? Oh, I can't set the trap again. All right, everyone feeling? Let's see what we've caught. Oh, it just stays set. Okay. Got us a beaver. Nice. So we got three. So let me get the fire going. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Food time. Chow down, pups. Give the doggos two. I'll take one. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Get back on the trail. Ready to go? Now let's see if we can find some small game for them and something bigger for me. Hopefully we'll get to the cabin and be good. Let me see up there, Stilton. You seem really excited. Wait, no. Did we actually make it? I knew all we had to do was move our feet. Cool. If we were meant to find this place, we would. All right. So doggos need some food, so hopefully there's some stuff here. We had to persevere. We'd find our way. And now, her red lantern hangs for us, calling us to our new home.
Well, that was a good run. Awesome, awesome. Look forward to uh, playing more and finding all the little secrets and all the little hidden treasures in this game. It's an absolute pleasure to play. Nice and easy. Kind of laid back, relaxing. Nothing crazy. And I highly recommend you guys all pick it up. Um, definitely worth it if you like uh, like a nice chill game. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for me this afternoon or this evening. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another Friday night flight. We're going to be doing some uh, some combat search and rescue, hopefully, tomorrow night in the A-10C, and we'll see how we do. Apart from that, hope you all enjoyed the stream. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.